Hey, my gems. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. Happy Friday. So good to see you guys. Welcome back to another episode of Dawn's Jewel Drop. I am Dawn Gatling and I'm welcoming you back to episode 43. So come on in here and spend a couple of minutes with me so that your girl could get this word out. Okay, but gems, before I start, God has impressed it upon my heart today to tell someone, just do it. There are so many times that we want to step out on faith and go for our dreams, go for a vision, something that has been, you know, just in our spirit, just stirring. Man, listen, them gifts are stirring up for a reason. Just do it, whatever it is. Stop seeking for valid, stop seeking validation and approval in all the wrong places. God is telling you, go for it, do it. He's got you. Sometimes we take the first step and God going to send us the next two steps. Just jump on out there on faith because that is what our God loves is to see you step out on faith and go ahead and trust in him that he going to deliver you to the finish line. So just do it. Whatever it is, whoever I'm talking to, just do it. But gems, today's episode 43 is about your assignments versus your attacks. One thing I do know for sure is that we are all here on assignment. And we are all going to be under attack at some point, and in one point or another. Um, and the, and one thing about those assignments is that the last thing that the enemy wants to see is us succeed at anything and everything that God has put before us. So we must know to stay two steps ahead of the enemy. I don't know what I don't know what you're going through today. I don't know what kind of attack you may be under. But the enemy does know gems when you are not prepared. And when you are not prepared, that is when the confusion sinks in. The distractions come. The hurt erupts. The pain erupts. Um, there's a thorn in your side. And, and these, things, th these things happen. And the only time that these types of tactics work is when you're not fruitful in knowledge. When you are unfruitful. So in order for us to remain fruitful in knowledge, we must stay educated in God's word. We must know the word. We must pray for the gift of wisdom. Because at the end of the day, God has already prepared us and equipped us for our journey. No matter what attacks come, he has already prepared us and equipped us for whatever assignment that we are on. His word tells us that Jeremiah 29 and 11, and I know you know this scripture, but we must know it and say it and preach it because he says, I know the plans I have for you, declares the Lord, plans to prosper you and not harm you, plans to give you hope and a future. So come on, we ain't got no time to listen to the enemy. We don't dance to the enemy's tune. We don't listen to the enemy's music. I told you, when the enemy is calling, you decline his call just like you do spam. Real quick and not a thought about it. Not a second thought. <laughs> Gone. Decline. I don't have time for you, devil. I really don't. Back up off me. I always pluck him off my shoulder. Back up off me. I don't have time. I've got to stay focused. We don't answer to the enemy. We don't answer to anything that speaks against us, especially what God has put before us. And we know it's for us because trust me, people are going to speak against you all the time. But what, has, what God has for us, no man can take away from us. You're devoured. Check box, your box check, devoured, uh, rendered useless, period, point blank. God wants us to become so strong, gems, in our faith that every time the enemy tries to come for us or the enemy comes knocking, we are equipped and ready. Devil, you're going to fall on your sword coming for me. You're going to hurt yourself coming for me. There's a saying, that grave you dug for me, you're going to find yourself in it. How about that? Okay, how about that? Because the God I serve, he's got me. But we must trust and believe in God's word. In order to believe and trust in his word, we must read his word, know his word, so that in the time of darkness, in the time of the wickedness, in the time where the devil is attacking us, we could speak that word. For I know the plans has, I know the plans my God has for me. He's already declared it. Plans to prosper me and not harm me. Plans to give me hope in the future. That's how you speak to the devil. That's how you tell him. Get the head nodding and shaking and get the hands flipping. Let him know you're not coming for me. I'm not having it. Thank you. 
and goodbye. The God wants us to stay strong in our faith, gems. He wants us to be super strong in our faith, especially in today's time. We must know that everything we do is according to God's word. It is according to his scripture. It is aligned with his purpose for us. So this way we can live a fruitful life. We can, we can be powerful. We can be joyful. We can have peace. Our peace won't be rocked. Every day I wake up, I said, Lord, give me wisdom. Give me wisdom like Solomon. Because I need to know with wisdom I can have anything I want. But we must remain strong in our faith. Hebrews 11, 6 says, and without faith. Because, you know, our God is a God of faith. Sometimes we want the microwave version. We want things fast. We want things quick. That's not how our God works. Sometimes you may get it quick. Sometimes you may. But our God is a God of faith. And again, Hebrews eleven six 6 says, and without faith. It is impossible to it is impossible to please God because anyone who comes to him must believe that he exists. You must acknowledge he is my God and that he rewards those who earnestly seek him. That is his word, gems. That is his word. I'm not making this up. I don't come on here pretending that is God's word. And I try to live it every day. Through my assignments, through my attacks, through the darts being thrown at me, I'm living I'm living and breathing God's word every day. I ain't got no time for the enemy, but I must trust and believe and walk on faith that my God has me. So you just remember, God will use what the enemy intends for our bad and turn it for our good. What the enemy may use to torture you, God is going to use to transform you. Believe it. Believe it, trust it, and believe it. And again, these things do not happen overnight, gems. They do not happen overnight. God ain't sending out no microwave versions of his work. It's very rare. If it does, consider it a miracle because miracles can exist. But in the day-to-day -day life, the weaknesses that we go through each day, God uses, excuse me, God uses those weaknesses to lead to strength for us. We work through it because we're going to be better for it. And let me tell you another thing. Some of the things that we may experience in life, um, maybe someone irritates you or maybe it's something your spouse does that eh, it's not the worst thing in the world, you know, whatever. It could be anything, something at work, you know, something about yourself, something day to day, whatever. It could be anything. God is not going to remove all things. You know, some things that make us weak, um, or that put us in in a kind of a place where uh, you don't feel too right. God may leave that in your life. You know, that may stay there. But that's because he wants you to lean on him and trust in him. Trust in him to remove it. You've got to lean on God. He is a God of faith. And he wants your attention. But he ain't going to knock down no daggone walls to get it. Listen, you've got to come to the terms and say, you know what, God? I need you. I need you. And he's going to honor that. I promise you, his word says, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all his righteousness and all things shall be added unto you. That is his word. That is his word. I love his word. So God wants us to need him. And you got to seek him to remove some of this stuff in your life that you don't want around. And it's as simple as that. But he is honored to come on down and help you and fix it and remove it and go head to head, toe to toe with the devil for you on your behalf, because that's what our God does. He loves us that much, gems. And I love you too. I pray this word was a blessing to someone's soul. Go on out there and have yourself a great weekend and let the devil know every time your feet hit the flow, it's on. We don't dance to his tune. Remember that, gems, okay? I love you so much. Have a blessed weekend, and I'll see you guys next Friday, okay? Bye-bye.